Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video. This time I want to go over another tool that you can use in your post exploitation uh, findings or as I mentioned before when we talked about WinPiece, if you want to use this tool for OS hardening or if you want to run an audit on an operating system to see if there are, if there are any misconfiguration flaws that could lead to privilege escalation you can use this tool as well, along with uh, WinPiece. So this is um, an example of one of the results that you can get if you decide to export the results. And as you could see, it's going to be pretty much based on privilege escalation on the MITRE network attack uh, framework. And um, this is one of the results that you can get. You can get a TXT, CVS, XML and you can also get an HTML file for that and I'm going to show you how to get into it in one second but let me um, as always let me bring um, let me bring over my oversimplified network diagram and this is important for people who are new or people who are just watching this video for the first time to understand what we're doing here and in this case we have this target computer right that we're going to call uh, target one and somehow we have access to this computer and we're going to be executing the commands or the file in this case from this computer how you gain access to it is not the point of this video it could very very well be that that is your computer you are the admin of that computer and you want to run this utility to make sure that you don't have any vulnerabilities for misconfigurations or something else happening in there or it could be that you are doing a pen testing engagement and you gained access to that computer and you want to find if there is a way for you to elevate your privileges to see if there's any pathways or vulnerabilities that you can exploit in that right so uh, again, we're going to be using that right here. This is simple network. The rest of the network is completely irrelevant because we're going to be working on this specific computer. Just like WinPiece, this uh, executable needs to be run on the system itself. You're not going to be running that on this system to scan. That's not the purpose of, uh, of, of this tool that we're going to be talking about. You have to run it on the system. So with that being said, let me uh, come over to um, the tool itself. Uh, let me just get this out of the way. And the tool that we're talking about is Privilege Escalation Check, right? And this is the official GitHub repo. I'm going to put this in the description of the video so you can click on it. And the tool is pretty straightforward. Run some PowerShell, and in this case, this tool is specific to Windows environments, uh, whereas WinPiece, yes, WinPiece is specific to Windows, but the, the project also has a Linux version, Linux version called uh, LinPiece, right? So just remember that this is for Windows specific systems, and you're going to be using PowerShell to run this tool. So what you need to do the same as before: when you run it, you have to disable the antivirus software. And in this case, the browser didn't flag it as a virus, but, you know, maybe the antivirus is going to flag it. I don't think it will, actually, now that I think about it, because it's just a regular PowerShell script. So what we're going to be doing here, uh, we're going to be running a, a PowerShell script. That's what you're going to be doing uh, on your system. So once you have access to it, uh, you know, like these are the basic uh, syntax that you can use for the tool. And the... Uh, the uh, the owner of the project, I don't even know who the owner is of this project. I should read into it. They made it simple for, for us to use, and they left the uh, basic commands that we can use to get the results we want. And a very basic explanation that is, for, that is enough for you to use it. So when you run it, let me uh, bring it over here. So make sure that you download it, whatever you download it, and then you run the command as specified here let me uh, let me come over oh what I have here if you haven't watched my other video on WinPiece 
Uh, WinPiss is also a tool that is going to allow you to find possible vulnerabilities for privilege escalation. And this is an example of how WinPiss looks like, right? So when it comes to tools in cybersecurity, it's good to have multiple tools to verify results from one tool to the other, right? Especially if you're using open source tools. So uh, it's good that if you're using WinPiss that you also consider using privilege escalation because with privilege escalation similar to WinPiss, you're going to be able to detect misconfigurations, identify insecure services if there's any insecure service configured on this computer, work registry permissions, you're going to be able to verify it and check for uh, user groups and privileges, uh, any weak um, executables, uh, all of those things are going to be checked automatically for you with Wim with WinPiece and also with privilege escalation, and that's what we're going to be using here. So uh, when you are here, as you could see, I'm using the uh, syntax that is going to be able to create the reports that uh, it's going to export the reports to this format. And if I go down here to my folder in downloads, I already ran this before, so it was created for me, and this is what I showed you at the beginning, right? Like this is an example of the report that you could, you know, use for you to, to you know, to show to management or to document what you're working on and what you're seeing. And as you can see right here, all this is based on the, um, or at least the categories is based on the MITRE uh, cybersecurity framework. And a lot of it has to do with privilege escalation because that's what this tool was designed for to find ways if there's any type of privilege escalation. And once you run it, like in this case, on this computer, it just found out like something that is high priori priority is that I don't have BitLocker enabled on this computer, right? And then it's gonna categorize things based on high, low, or none. Uh, most of it is known, but it's good for you to, to use this for medium. What's medium in here? Oh, the current user has read permissions on the security. Yes, it does. And look, it even shows you the CVEs for you to look into. So this is another tool that you could add to your toolbox to do security assessments and security audits. Like I see this being used heavily, you know, when when you do secu security audits, when you want to check for a system to make sure that uh, it, it is properly configured. So I'm not going to spend much time on how to run it because honestly, the um, all the information that you need, it's right here. Like, where is it? Oh, this is the report. Oh, all the information that you need is right on the website. So um, Wim oh, this is Wimpy's, Wimpy's, Wimpy's. This is not what we want. Let me close this tab. And this is the one that I was uh, working on. All the information that you need is here. Just pretty much just um, download the tool and type the syntax to get to it and, and get the reports. And it even tells you what it's, what, what it's going to be doing. There's not much configuration that you could do with it. Just run it and get the results. And as I said before, this is not going to um, provide any access for you. It's not going to create a, an, an, expl an exploit for you. What this is going to show you is, hey, I run a report and I found this, this what I believe are vulnerabilities, and then it's your responsibility to check into it to, to see if indeed there are vulnerabilities that are worth uh, fixing uh, in your uh, systems. So this was uh, pretty much a, I'm going to call this a, an, an informational video. Uh, or or introducing a new tool for you to have in your toolbox. And if you follow my channel, we're going to be using these tools uh, later down the road as we keep doing things uh, to, to test different systems. So I hope this information was useful to you, that this tool is going to be useful to you. Go ahead, download it, run it, and, and try it. And that's the only way that you're going to learn and you're going to decide whether this is something that you would like to use or not. If you found this information useful, why don't you click on the like button, consider subscribing to my channel if you want, and leave a nice comment out there in the comment section. You know what? Like, we all need good things out there, so it's good karma. So I'll talk to you on the next video.